A massive crack in the ground that's estimated to be up to 50 feet deep has opened up in Kenya seemingly overnight. The crack stretches along Kenya's Great Rift Valley, and many scientists believe it could end up splitting the continent apart. In the heart of Africa, something incredible is happening. The ground is splitting open, causing mixed feelings among the locals and capturing the attention of scientists worldwide. This massive crack will change the landscape forever. But there's more. As the cracks get bigger, major flooding is expected. Even more astonishing, a new ocean might form. How is this all possible and what does it mean for Africa and the world? Join us in today's video as we uncover the mystery behind Africa's continental rift and explore the significant changes it will bring to the future. The African continent is splitting, with present-day Somalia and parts of Kenya, Ethiopia and Tanzania at risk of separating from the rest of Africa. This dramatic change could even lead to the formation of a new ocean. Recently, a massive crack appeared unexpectedly in southwestern Kenya. A massive crack that's up to 50 feet deep suddenly opened up in the ground in Africa. It's already 65 feet wide in some places and growing. Stretching for several kilometers and causing part of the Nairobi Narok motorway to collapse. Initially linked to tectonic activity along the East African Rift, Questions remain about why it formed in this specific location. Is it due to soft soil erosion filling an old fault? Or does it signal a larger event that will reshape Africa's geography? As we witness Earth's ever-changing nature, this latest development of Africa splitting into two has raised new concerns among scientists. The Earth's lithosphere, made up of the crust and upper mantle, is a mosaic of tectonic plates in constant motion. These plates glide and shift, driven by mysterious forces not yet fully understood. Convection currents within the asthenosphere and forces at plate boundaries propel these chunks of Earth's crust. Nowhere is this more evident than in the East African Rift System, a 3000 kilometer tear from the Gulf of Aden to Zimbabwe, splitting the African plate into the Somali and Nubian plates. The recent crack in southwestern Kenya reveals the raw power of the East African Rift. As the lithosphere stretches and thins under horizontal forces, we witness volcanic eruptions and seismic tremors, signaling the start of the continental breakup. Could this be the birth of a new ocean basin, reshaping our planet's geography and unveiling more of its mysteries? Now, millions of years ago, our planet underwent a stunning transformation. Continents shifted and merged like pieces of a giant puzzle. The South Atlantic Ocean, a vast body of water today, was born from the dramatic breakup of South America and Africa around 138 million years ago. But the story of Earth's shifting continents goes back even further. About 300 million years ago, there was a single supercontinent called Pangaea, surrounded by a vast ocean called Panthalassa. We can see evidence of this ancient world in geological records. For example, coal deposits in Pennsylvania are strikingly similar to those found in Poland, the United Kingdom, and Germany. This suggests that North America and Europe were once joined as part of one massive landmass before they drifted apart. Fossils also reveal secrets of our planet's past. Identical plant species like the extinct seed fern Glossopteris have been discovered on continents now separated by oceans. The Appalachians in the United States and the Atlas Mountains in Morocco, Algeria and Tunisia were once part of the central Pangaea Mountains, formed from the collision of supercontinents Gondwana and Laurussia. This fascinating piece of Earth's history shows the incredible forces that have shaped our world. The name Panja comes from the Greek words pan, meaning all, and Gaia, meaning earth. This giant supercontinent formed slowly, evolving over hundreds of millions of years. According to a chapter in the scientific book Ancient Supercontinent and the Paleogeography of Earth, around 541 million years ago, most continents were in the Southern Hemisphere. The largest of these was Gondwana, which stretched from the South Pole to the equator. 
the Northern Hemisphere was dominated by the vast Panthalassic Ocean. There was also an ocean between the ancient continents Laurentia, Baltica, and Gondwana, but it began to close around 485 million years ago during the Ordovician period. By the Silurian period, around 444 million years ago, this ocean had disappeared as Baltica and Avalonia collided with Laurentia to form Laurussia. About 320 million years ago, Gondwana, Laurussia, and other terrains collided to create the supercontinent Pangaea. However, Pangaea didn't include all continents at the same time. During the Carboniferous period from about 359 to 299 million years ago, the Paleotethys Ocean separated Pangaea from several large Asian terrains, including Tarim, North China, South China, and Indochina. By the Permian period, from 299 to 251 million years ago, many of these terrains had drifted away from the northeast margin of Gondwana, leading to the formation of the Neotethys Ocean. It began around 195 million years ago during the early Jurassic period when the Central Atlantic Ocean started to open, marking the beginning of the end for this grand supercontinent. In ancient times, the supercontinent Gondwana fractured along familiar lines, splitting Africa, South America, Antarctica, India, and Australia from Eurasia and North America. But that was just the beginning. Over millions of years, Gondwana continued to break apart, with continents drifting and separating. Even today, the continents are still on the move. Australia is inching closer to Asia, and the eastern part of Africa is gradually breaking away, according to recent studies. Throughout Earth's history, supercontinents have come and gone, showing us that our planet is always changing. Scientists think the driving force behind this cycle is the movement of the mantle, but the details are still unclear. Heat in the mantle is probably generated by radioactive decay, but there's debate among scientists about whether the mantle has many pockets of heat flow or if it acts like one big heat conveyor belt. Breaking the lithosphere requires strong extensional forces, and the East African Rift is an active rift, meaning mantle movement is causing these stresses. Geophysical data has revealed a fascinating phenomenon called the African Superswell, a searing hot mantle plume responsible for the forces pulling the Rift Valley apart and creating the high plateaus of Southern and East Africa. These fractures didn't all form at once. They started about 30 million years ago in northern Ethiopia and gradually spread towards Zimbabwe at a rate of 2.5 to 5 centimeters per year, like a slow motion geological dance. What makes the East African Rift so special is its ability to show us different stages of rifting along its length. In the south, the rift is still young, with low activity rates, widespread faulting and rare volcanoes and earthquakes. As you move toward the Afar region, the valley floor is covered with volcanic rocks. This indicates that the lithosphere has thinned, almost to the point of breaking apart completely. It's as if the Earth's crust is being pulled apart, exposing its molten core. Eventually, this process will lead to magma solidifying and forming new oceanic seafloor. This spreading will continue along the entire rift valley over tens of millions of years. So, what do you think will happen when Africa splits into two? Will it change our planet's geography forever? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.